entertain. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, outstanding, most indubitably. Miss Jamaica! What? What? <laughs> what What's up, girl? Well, gone, you know, madam. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all. Take this time that I'm saying all this stuff to go on your phone and go Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. Follow, follow, follow. Just type in Boss Talk Podcast 101 in Google search and it'll all pop up. But if you want to see all our visuals, Go over to our you to our um, YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. But we would love to have your subscription. But even more than your subscription, we would love to have your membership. How you find our membership is on the each and every video, including this one right here in the in the description section. There's a link that says follow our membership or buy our membership right here. Go ahead and do so. Thank you in advance. That's how you can support a brand. Cause y'all see us on the street all the time and talk about. We love your brand. We love what you're doing. Keep pushing. If you want to keep pushing, this is how we can keep pushing. Go ahead and buy our membership. Thank you in advance. Hey, man, listen, man. This guy don't need no introduction. This guy right here, man, by way of the South Atlanta ATL stand-up is going down. Hey, man, not Hank Aaron, but Bank Aaron is in the business. <laughs> Let's stop playing. Let's get to it. How you doing, brother? Right, welcome bro, to Boss hey, Talk 101. Hey, thank you for having me. Man, you yeah. always welcome, brother. You, Hey, that nigga from the ATL, shouty. ATL. Who call you Bank Aaron? I want to know that. So and they got that money. <laughs> and yeah, they got that hey, money. Hustling. <laughs> <laughs> so you just always yeah, have it. ATL hustler. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what part of Atlanta are you from? I'm from North Atlanta, Sandy Springs. Sandy Dunwood Springs. Area. Yeah. Okay, is that a pretty area? Yeah, it's cool. Cause the yeah. name sound pretty. Sound like you know. Yeah, it's on the north side. Okay. North Atlanta. Any if I'm if I'm coming out there, what is it that I have to see? Oh, Sandy uh, Springs. The famous places. Mm -hmm. um, well, shoot, I I be more into like the restaurants now. Ah, that's what we do. So the like, older we get, that's yeah, all we do real, is go eat. Like one who's of the, uh, one of my favorites is the bank, the bank vault. Okay, of, uh, I've heard of that. The old Bankhead Highway. I've heard of that. Right next door to it's uh, real good? Blue Flame. Oh, yeah, it's banging. Really? Yeah. What should I order? Oh, they got it all. From Everything. Seafood, brunch, mm. uh, lunch menu. It's okay. all good. Yeah, breakfast okay. banging. So you grew up with your mom and dad present in the household? Nah, just my mom. Why is that so? Just, why is everybody like 80% of society yeah. is well, like that? Let me just go be honest with you. You keep they asking that. I, I find I got to tell they you. They blame it. No, but people blame I, I, it I, I on it. No, I'm going to tell it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go on and tell it. Era, but no, even I'm going right to go on and tell it. I'm going to go on and tell it. Like that. Man, these women, man, I'm going to be no. real with it. Hard to stay with them, bro. Like, every time you look around, you know they going to want different things. We can't provide it. We try. They end up trying to do stuff. Okay, you've been with me 20 years, so what's up? I'm a superman. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just kidding, man. Y'all go home. No, but for real, you know what I mean? I'm tired of seeing, and I would say, because people, when I ask that question, why? People say, well, it was a crack error, but the kids nowadays are still being raised in household where the father is absent. Yeah. So that's not a crack error right now. So what's up with that? Now, my mom, she was independent, and mm -hmm. I like coming up and looking at, you know, coming up, and now I'm like, Man, like, you know, she was so independent. She probably, you know, the man was like, I can't compete with that. Mm. You know. Do you know so, your dad? Yeah, I know my dad. Yeah. Do you we'll have a relationship? Okay, yeah, I got a good, good relationship with him. So growing up, he was present. Well, he, he wasn't present because we, you know, um, at one time my mom had a boyfriend and we ended up moving overseas. So I okay. spent a couple Where? of years in Scotland. Oh. In London. So I wow. was over there like my younger years. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. It was different when I first moved. It was like mm -hmm. a kind of a culture shock. Right. Show me, and give me a little bit of the accent how it go over there. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> That's damn funny, Joe. <laughs> That's funny. It. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> and they drink a lot of the teas yeah. and not coffee as much. But yeah, it was different. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, it was a good experience, you know. Okay. So, yeah, it ain't too bad. Any siblings? Wow. Yeah, I got a uh, brother and sister. You're the oldest or youngest? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. Yeah. Okay, so they didn't get the experience. No, they that. didn't get it at all. They actually was with my dad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was by a different, uh, you know, they got stepmom, so. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But you're the only one for your mom. I'm, yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. 
So, um, but okay, so you came back to the United States and you moved straight to Atlanta? No, when we came back, I would actually went to Baltimore. Okay. So I was in Baltimore for like maybe two years, three mm-hmm. years up there. And then we came to Atlanta after that. And that's where you discovered your love for music? Well, the love for music, I actually was out in LA with Mud mm-hmm. and uh, Slim 400. I used to go to the studio out in Bellflower out there and I was just hanging out. You know, I was back and forth from LA a lot from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You didn't and really I, fit in in Atlanta because you had been to London. So you just like to <laughs> travel. <laughs> you had seen too much. Oh, I travel everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you I'll always like to go around. I'm yeah. looking at you. I know what, what happened. You've yeah. you, you been around. He ain't a scared. You don't want to be stuck in one place. And he ain't afraid to travel. So he, he ended up just yeah. being going yeah. places, enjoying life while other people stuck because yeah. they don't know how to get out of, out of their surroundings. Exactly. Am I right? Yeah, that's correct. So how, you end up going out there with them. Yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. Like, So did you spend time in Atlanta during yeah. those how long you was in Atlanta? I was in Atlanta um, about six years before I was. How old was you? I was young. I was how like seven, eight years old. So you really wasn't in there. You're eight, nine. So how old are you now? Yeah. Here, my man? I'm up there. You up there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but if you were seven, eight, nine, you, I'm trying to figure out was BMF them around. Was it what time of it? What nah, years this, was this it? Was, um, was this uh, was this uh, little John? Yeah. This, uh, was it was it Jermaine Dupri? Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Who was yeah, this, the hottest was popping like, artist out was there? It, yeah, that's what I'm saying, time. like at the time. At that time, it was, um, this was like back in, prior, just like right before Outkast era. What, before yeah. Outkast? Yeah, just a little bit before, not to, like right there. That was uh, it's hard to deal with before Outkast, but um, Outkast is, that's Atlanta, no, no, man. No, I say, I say, I say Outkast and Goody Mob. Goody Mob, that time. shout yeah. out, Gip, we got him coming up yeah. too. Yeah, and did you like the music back then? Yeah, I loved well, the music. you was young, though. Music. You was a kid, bro. Still, I was on it. As a, as yeah. a kid? Oh, yeah. That's all I listened to coming up was music. That so you I had the little it. Walkmans back then, little CD players. Yeah. Headphones. Wow. That's it. And love the, love the music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you one of those guys, man, that I sat back and I, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm looking at your stuff. And you ended up linking with Baby C. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how you and Baby C linked up. Like, yeah. you put him as a feature on your song. Yeah, yeah. What was that all about? How did you even know well, him? Mud, Mud. You know, set he been on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I seen him on here. You did? Yeah, Mud set that up with Baby C. Uh, really? Had a record. We actually shot that um, record out in North Carolina, up in uh, Charlotte. How was that? It was good. Did, yeah, it was you, good. did you like the results? Yeah. Came what, out pretty good. What, did, what, what was the... What was the well, when y'all first met, was he real professional? Just yeah, like, it was real professional. Yeah, you know? and um, I had my uncles. I got family out there too in the Carolinas. I had my uncles to you know fire the pits up, had a barbecue going on, drinks, food, all that. So put it in know, the midst of the interview. Out. Yeah, oh yeah, that's so hard. Had that in man. the video and everything. The name of that song is called Iron Skillet. Yeah, Iron Skillet. Yep. And and so. What? Okay, let's go all the way back. Let's go back to when you was going up there and you was meeting with uh, the guys. Uh, Mud is it Mud Mud, uh, dollars. Mud dollars? Y'all yeah. was meeting. What was that like? Like when you first met Slim Four Hundred? How <laughs> how did you even how did you even meet him? Well, I came I came into town one night and uh, Mud was like come by the studio and he was actually recording Slim when I went in there. So I you know was sitting you know sitting outside in that you know during this session. And I met him after the session, and we end up doing uh, two songs together. So eventually, you know, we got those done. And was he the Slim 400 that everybody was yeah. loving? He oh, already yeah. was hot? Yeah, he's a character. He was already yeah. hot? Oh, yeah, he was. Well, he was buzzing. He was buzzing? Yeah, he was buzzing. And then and, and, and you and him just kind of clicked as yeah, soon as you clicked. met him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was like, I, I rock with you. Yeah, he was cool. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, some people, you know, they say he was about his hood and everything, like, how was it like when y'all would do music together? Cause y'all had a, a few yeah. songs together. Like. Yeah, Slim was a good dude. You know, all the whatever the, you know the media and all that saying it, it wasn't like that. At once you got to know him as a person. Yeah, I knew him as a person, so it's like I seen a different side than what I would see the media saying. Well, and some of the things the media was saying, like he was a hothead or something. Yeah, huh? he he wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. He was you know more family oriented and. You know, he was a real dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real what guy. was the first video y'all dropped together? Uh, we dropped a video called Fendu. Fendu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did that do for you? That was good. It was? Yeah, that was good. Which we one? shot that out Was that LA. the most viral one? 
Nah, the most viral one was like uh, like short. Okay. And uh, that was featuring Rucci. Wow. I think Rucci out of Inglewood. And you just start dealing with the West Coast like yeah, that. Started out out there. What's the most popular verse in that um, the one that went viral? The one that went viral. That was um, his verse. Or? Yeah, your your verse or the most popular verse in the song. Yeah, I would I would say. I would say um, Finn do on that because of the hook. The hook was catchy. Let me hear the hook. It's uh, on the, the verse. Mm -hmm. Or you want the hook? I want the hook and the verse. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you both. oh yeah, I could give you that. The um, the hook go. It says uh, top tier bitches. That's what I'm into. Talking slick to a nigga. That shit will end you. Make these niggas hate like I meant to. Win and win again. That's what I'm Finn do. Man, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that win and win again, that's what I'm fin do, meaning you get into the money, the bag, just dropping dollars, you know, bringing it in. So, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Wow. I just think, I think that music thing is serious, man. Like, yeah, serious like, yeah, like, like it's serious business, man. How did you learn the business of music, man? Like, like just knowing, like, like, do you, you understand your publishing and all the stuff that you're dealing with when it come down to your music? Yeah. So I got a um, lady named uh, Strange Lady out of Memphis. She That's did the, do the publishing for me. Strange yeah. lady. So she set all that up. We, you know, went and sat down, had a uh, meeting, you know, talked about everything and how everything's supposed to go. And she set everything up for me on that end. Wow. Yeah. And, and so Memphis, you be down there, you rocked out with the Memphis folks or you ain't been down there nah, yet? We, we just did a um, podcast out there. Oh, yeah? Do you yeah. like Memphis? Yeah, Memphis cool. Like that's the, that, that's the hot spot. There was a lot of good yeah, music Memphis in Memphis. Cool. Yeah. Man, uh, feeling like I'm rich. Talk to me about that. Yeah, feeling like I'm rich. That was uh, Mud Dollars was on the hook and Yowda. Um, he was on. A, he had a verse on there too, and uh, we shot that out in uh, Vegas. Oh, that's hard. Was that's out hard. In Vegas and was just sitting at the table, just you know, going over beats, and that hook just came up. Feeling like I'm rich. So diamonds you could swim up in, cause I always keep the diamonds on my neck. I see them, so boy. Like I see you over there. Up in, feeling like I I'm see rich. you with all that dang go, yeah. boy. Listen, boy, you got it's, it's blinding me, man. Yeah, for real. So, so. I, I, all right, all right. So you know, you see what Diddy doing, man. You see what did Diddy do it or what? Did Diddy do it? Did that, Diddy a, do that's it? That's a hard call, right? Did there. Diddy do it or or is this something they doing as a plot? All yeah. these people coming up to plot. Did Diddy do it? I just think that's that's what another Bill Cosby situation. You think that. so? Yeah. You think they played him? Yeah. I think they got played on that. You think he tried to do something they didn't want him to be a part of? Probably. Or do you think it's mixed up with the Keefe D situation and they just trying to break him down? Mm. This is conspiracy theories. I, w I would say more they trying to plot him. They trying to plot him. Yeah. Get, anytime their brother get up to a billion dollars, they trying to get him yeah. down. Trying to shut them down. And all these people who are coming out in the open and saying all these things, you think the people are paying them to do so? Either that or he paying them to be quiet. One. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Meek Mills getting caught up in this? Like, boy, they running him oh, down through there. They running him down through there. That's I seen a white bad. dude jump back and grab on it. Grab, they would dance. He would dance with a white dude. Yeah. You seen that? Oh, yeah. They I was gonna, like, what is that? You ain't seen it? I ain't seen it. I got to show it to you. You need to see this. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know if it was real or what, you know. Uh, what did the white dude grab? Yeah, I'll let you, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, uh, I'll let you look at it. And uh, The way how y'all laughed, I'm like. Yeah. My, I, shout out to, shout out to my boy. Right, did, it, did it come in? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and push that play button there. That's my boy Flacco, shout out. It's all bad right there. I don't know if he actually touched it though. <laughs> I don't think he actually touched it. But at the same time, you don't know if he did feel uncomfortable because they cut it right here. As soon as he did that, you can't get his reaction. They yeah. cut that reaction to make it look a certain way. But I can come in front of you and have my hand right there, and it looked like I did it, but we could have been this far apart. Mm -hmm. let, let me see this other one. Explain this one to if me. If they take it from the yeah. side view and you can more. actually see it, then <laughs> it's something else. Oh, explain that one to me. That's Shannon Sharp. 
Okay, I seen when he came out and he went inside. They didn't. They didn't too much. Uh, I saw that one. Was that? I mean, what we got here? What the man just walked out? <laughs> Y'all cannot show because a person looked like they standing in a certain what way. We got, what we got here? What we got doing over here? What, 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 what is it on that no. hand? And that man's over You ain't gonna catch him with me standing out there nah. like that. Oh, not please, at all. I can catch anybody standing like that. Not at when you're not looking, nah. you're not. Please. Yeah, Whatever. That, that, I can catch right a lot of people. Yeah, and can you see? No. Okay, and can you. No. With the bag on and everything? That's a man purse. A man purse? Yes. I don't know what a man purse is. This is new tech. This is new stuff y'all got going on. Out for a long we time, y'all. We y'all. got wallets and rubber bands now. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. <laughs> man. Y'all I'm be just... carrying in messenger bags. Oh, no, y'all purse. don't. <laughs> oh, no, y'all don't. Money Moses carry it. What? Yes, a messenger bag. A lot of men be carrying it because you be, y'all be, a lot of men, not y'all, be having y'all <laughs> pistols in there walking around. <laughs> So that's the reason why they be trying to justify it. Start. But you're trying to say the gangsters do. Well, what about old boy sitting next to him at at the game like that? I never saw that. So I don't. Let me know get what it for you. It's on the internet. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> no, it you is. see her. Internet can make. I didn't see it. Internet can make a lot of things look a certain way. Well, I don't know. This here you can't make look this way. Okay, you remember? Uh, okay, I don't know. You remember when you have um, watched those magazines back in the days before social media came out? Those gossip magazines and all that that people used to tabloids yeah. and stuff. They looked a certain way, but a lot of that stuff was fake news anyway. But it, they made it look a certain way. That's the yeah. same thing with social media. Social media is modern day tabloids. Okay, so what do you think? Like when you when you first think about just you know, uh, Atlanta music, the way it is now versus the way it was a few years back. They was taking over everything. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. You, you had point. all the people in Atlanta were going crazy. Jermaine had that thing popping. It did. All of them people down there, uh, uh, but yeah, Lil John, all of them. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. The, the the East Side Boys and Lil John, that, they do that stuff. If you don't give a damn, you don't yeah. give a fuck. You remember that? Yeah. Could nobody that. out do? Do you think uh, that they still have that same power? Or it just went away. Well, it, I ain't gonna say it's gone, but um, Ti, like, Gucci yeah. Man, yeah, it was crazy. Oh, it was. But Jeezy, now, yeah. Nowadays, like the younger crowd, it's all about violence. So they want to shoot something. They want to shoot something. Everybody, in, in. everybody. What about the Water Boys? They cool, right? Man, they, they all right. They ain't out here killing, right. is they? Nah, I ain't gonna say that. We don't know. know. Huh? Nah. We don't know what the water bars yeah. do when they ain't handing out water. But it ain't nothing like the old school, like the, the Gucci Bane and the, uh, um, was it, uh, Young Bloods. The Young like, Bloods? Yeah. That that was it. Different like, era. Yeah, Outcast. Different era. That. Yeah. Different type of animal. Yeah. It was totally different. So, but the strip club down there still popping. Yeah, strip club still popping. Wow! Yeah, we just did a promo run uh, last I week. I ain't even no stroker with jumping like yeah, that. Strokers, it back. It's there. Oh yeah, is it? But but what's the main one they going to now? Blue Blue Flame. Now, I say the main one is um I say Strokers, Diamond Club, and um it's one other one. We King of Diamonds. Um, Vivid, Vivid, Vivid was popping. Vivid yeah, was popping. Vivid was popping. So are you living in there. Atlanta now? Or no, yeah, I'm in the A. So you always yeah, in the A. I'm always in the A. That's hard, man. Yeah. Uh, man, I miss Shorty Low, man. Yeah. I was a Shorty Low fan. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Low Must was the be man two back sides. then. Yeah. Done done it all. Done done it all. Yeah. What you blind? Need some glasses to see? Straight up. That nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was serious, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that's when Atlanta was on yeah. fire. It was on fire back then. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Before it. Them boys used to go in, oh, didn't they? Yeah. Man, that's a different time, bro. Atlanta had this hole in the headlock, didn't it? Yeah, they did. But it, my boy said he was the king of the South. T.I., he had that hole. He could rap hard. Mm-hmm. That nigga still can rap. Yeah, he still. He I, still I heard him on here. a couple um, new tracks recently. And they're good, yeah. Ain't? Still hard. <laughs> What's up with that Rico case down there? Oh, that's serious business right it, there. I thought there was, man, what's her name? That woman is going in down there. Yeah. Then they had her in the courtroom doing something to it. One day, I'm like, what's going on down That's there? Serious business. 
Just she was on the stand trying to figure out how to be innocent. Yeah. What was that? Is they flipping this? How's all this happening, bro? Hey, in the, at the wrong place at the wrong time. And it's just everything. Every, the hens coming on the roost, everything going crazy. Yeah. Backfiring. Backfiring? <laughs> say backfiring. 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 Everything. For the real. plan ain't going as planned. Nah. I, what are you thinking? And you don't have to answer this, or I can cut it out if you don't feel comfortable with it, or don't just say no question. Ain't that no comment? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that DA? She didn't she arrest Trump? Didn't she? She did something on that line to Trump. Yeah. What if he win the election? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? Hey. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be nervous as hell. She either trying to win. I don't know why I wouldn't have did that. I ain't going all the way in like that nah. for them. What if he win now? I got I'm up against the damn president. You are. It's hey, it's shit crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> man, the top three artists of all time dead or alive, man. Oh, top three artists. I say uh Tupac. Um other, let me see. Uh, Tupac. Shit, I like Pimp Pimp C. What? Yeah, Pimp C. Hey, Pimp C, the man. That nigga said yeah, that. Pimp I C, told Pimp you. Pimp C got bars. I told you. I told you. But nobody. He ain't bars. even from Texas. Uh uh. You see what just happened? Any time the pimp, but the pimp, they yeah. love the pimp. Pimp C got bars. That's my favorite dog. Yeah. You said that. That boy yeah. say pimp got them bars. He do. And number three. And I let uh, Rick Ross. Love Ross. Uh -huh. Yeah. That nigga, huh? On it. That nigga that go I ride that nigga, bars. that nigga can rap, right? Yeah. Him and that Drake, they were cold together, wasn't he? Mm hmm When you seen Drake and him doing their thing, what'd you think about that? I think hey, that was hard. They were hard? Yeah, it was hard. Wow. Man, um, like I said, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold to you if they looking for you? Yeah, you get a hold of me on Instagram. It's uh bank underscore Aaron. Bank Aaron, you got that bank Aaron? What's that? You got that from Hank Aaron? Oh, uh, Bank Aaron. Did you get it from Hank Aaron? Nah, I ain't get it from Hank Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but nah, but oh, Bank Aaron. Man, you know, check it, man. Hustle out of Atlanta. Hustle out of Atlanta, yeah. man. Is T.I. T. really the king of the South? He he got his part in there. He the king? Yeah, he got his part he in there. He the king? There. Yeah. He the king? Yeah. Wow. If he the king, then, man, you know, he... He got that he got a trap cafe. What's the name of that cafe? Yeah, Trap City Cafe. Is it good food over there? Yeah. Oh yeah, food banging. Really? Yeah. They invited me. I'm going down there. Like last week. He asked me to. Yeah, he, he, they, they say they're gonna pop out. Yeah. I'm gonna some good food down. See there. what they talking about? Yeah. Red Any snapper. Fish? Yeah, red snapper. My wife going over there and get some of that. You didn't have to say that. Once really? you said that, it's up. Red snapper. It's fresh. Oh yeah, it's fresh. Okay. And the shrimp. They got shrimp po' boys. Banging. So we got to go through that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. When well, you said red snapper, is it the whole red snapper nah, fish? The whole, the whole snapper. Because sometimes when I go places and they say red snapper, you get this no. red snapper fillet. No, it's it's, it's the whole a pretty fish. decent side, the whole fish. With the head the and everything? Everything. Okay, yeah, just checking. Oh, yeah. I'm just checking. She could eat that. Yeah. She's Jamaican. Yeah, fish banging. She going over okay. there. Okay. Yeah. She going over there tomorrow, nigga. Oh, yeah. So when we can get that letter. Trap Cafe. Trap the, Cafe. Trap City Cafe. Trap City, yeah. We could go over there. Shout out T.I. What? T.I. Man, had that fish ready, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> nah, thank you for coming yeah. on the show, man. And did we leave anything out? No, I think we got you. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Right, thanks for having me. Man, too. make sure oh, you yeah. guys, hey, the next clip, man, make sure you check that next clip out right now. It's been another great segment with the Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out. Thank you.